Cam has returned to Ijora or Lokwa area of Lagos, where protesters burnt tires to protest the ban of commercial motorcycles and tricycles in the state on Monday. At the scene of the incident, policemen and men of the OP Massa, a joint military operation, were seen addressing a group of people in an apparent move to ascertain those involved in the act. There were traces of bomb fire with shattered glasses at the scene. Eyewitnesses said the protesters hauled stones before security operatives brought the situation under control. On Saturday, the Lagos state government started a ban on Okada and tricycles in some parts of the state. Joining us in the studio to look at this is a social analyst, Anihuvi Ayeni. Thank you very much for coming on the news. Good morning. Good morning, Felicity. Thank you for having me. The ban is here is it it's here do you see it as a solution to the transport um, traffic situation in this country in the state in rather? this state oh well i i looking out at the roads today consider the time that we traveled to to work i think the journey was kind of smooth the journey was not as long as it would have proud to the when we had the okada and the keke because you had them in the midst of it like flies all all along so well for this morning i did see a difference in the traffic now the long-term effect of it how will it help traffic well there, there's a lot of people that are trekking that are going late to work some people went somebody that was here last night talked about getting to the office he left his home at 5 a.m he got to work like 11 a.m doesn't that kill productivity okay that productivity is an aspect of it um getting rid the traffic the, the, the traffic jams and everything is another aspect of it now productivity yes that's that's it because so many people depend on this market women depend on all this keke to get them from one point or the other but the reason why this has come now and has come so suddenly the government we give them the we give them the privilege of knowing what we don't know now they would have seen some information they would have been privileged to some data that has allowed them to make this decision right now i think it came too soon and too fast if they wanted to do this they should have done it systematically within a period of time and not so suddenly unfortunately this is what has happened and we pray that government actually comes out with measures to try to 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 try to curb all the negative effects that will come out of this because apart from the fact that people will start getting late to work is also the commerce apart from the commerce is also the poverty increase in the society all right um in in a certain forum the platform precisely someone who pledged to partner with hailing services like bokada max.ng and opay to solve the transport issues in lagos and be able to come up with a regulation system where we can account for every Okada rider. We will know who they are. We can manage them. You know, so, so just so that we will know who they are and when anything happens. In fact, the solution that some of them are bringing, they can actually disenable those Okadas, you know, remotely. That's where we're planning to get to. But it's also something that we need to think through very well and be sure that everybody, we're not, nobody is disenfranchised. You know, as much as possible, give everybody the opportunity to play and to play well. I'm hoping that once we do all of this, right, the solutions around our traffic will be reduced significantly. Thank you very much. And be able to come up with a regulation system where we can account for every Okada rider. We will know who they are. We can manage them. You know, so, so just so that we will know who they are and when anything happens. In fact, the solution that some of them are bringing, they can actually disenable those Okadas, you know, remotely. That's where we're planning to get to. But it's also something that we need to think through very well and be sure that everybody, we're not, nobody is disenfranchised. You know, as much as possible, give everybody the opportunity to play and to play well. I'm hoping that once we do all of this, right, the solutions around our traffic will be reduced significantly. Thank you very much. Um, apologies, I had to do that a bit abruptly, but we needed to see that video for me to continue this conversation. That video started trending again. That was October 2019. It's just less than a year. Why the change from when he was canvassing for votes and now that he is governor to implement a ban without, you know, 
I mean, it's almost like a complete contradiction of what he said earlier. Well, I would like to give some credit to Governor Shanwolu that he's new in government and he's only started. And at this time, I'm sure he wants to win the hearts of Lagosians towards him because that is very important in governance. If the people are against you, you don't even have, you, you, can't, you can't move forward. I will say the fact that, you know, he's already said that they want to work together. Now, this is just the beginning. This is only day two. We don't know the meetings. We don't know what is going on. We have not but been if you, that This doesn't seem the act of someone who actually wants to work because the, the groups have come up to say there was no consultation. There was no conversation. It was just a blanket ban on everyone, including those who are commercialized. People, he said, have found a way to maybe disable um, um, motorcycles that commit crime remotely and stuff like that. So doesn't that worry you that there was no communication before this ban? Does that indicate someone who really wants to have a conversation on the way forward? What to, in, in all, in all, in, I would say this, that in all fairness to people, it's hard. It's very sudden. Nigeria is a high power distance society. And high power distance means that once the top says something, everybody has to follow. And unfortunately, I think that is the same scenario that they used in playing this out. However, I would still like to err on this side to say the fact that this is still early days, like I said before. This is still early days. Now, government is privileged to information that we don't have. I was listening to a former governor this morning, and he said in his own state, people were using the, um, the Okada and the machines actually to commit armed robbery, um, kidnapping. And you know, armed robbery and kidnapping has also increased. I was looking at the data the other day, and it was talking about how many, how many people are being kidnapped in Is it in your opinion state. that this ban will curb that? Because that's another thing that's been pushed for by the government what this what the government sees what the government knows every single day we don't know it I will still say that again and as unfortunate as this is it is still early days let's hear what the government will say today let's hear what the government will say tomorrow that they will come up with a solution that is going to that is going to improve what is going on now I'm sure they will because they are there they have been voted into office shouldn't that have been the right thing because people currently are suffering there was a protest that was what we started this conversation yes, with there yes. was a protest yesterday and it seems that that protest is not gonna abate because people are upset livelihood has been taken away yes. what happens to these people who depend on bike riding for instance kekena pep to go around and make money to feed their family what it will be their fate what plans are there for them the, I understand the government said that they have some buses that they're going to put on the roads. Because I remember this was happening actually in Abuja sometime towards the end of last year. In Abuja as well, they banned the Kekes, they banned the Okadas overnight. And in fact, it was even during the day. In the morning, people went to work with them. By the time we were coming back from work, they had banned all these guys from the road. The government came with buses that was freighting people back and forth, commuter buses. These buses were not, one, they were not, enough to take everybody and number two the buses take forever to take so get that is a repeat of what we already have now so wouldn't it have been i mean government is not a vacuum shouldn't they have maybe considered that they said they've brought out 62 buses 65. for a population okay about 65 buses for a population of over i mean 18 million that use this is this going to be enough shouldn't they have taken the experience of abuja and applied it in lagos which is even more uh, commercially active, in some would say, uh, than Abuja. Yes, they should have. They should have. And we cannot, unlike, um, unlike other instances where you can tell them that uh, government you should have and you should not have done this, we still don't have a feedback from the government system to say that, oh, they are listening or what we are telling is uh, making any effect on them. I would just say that I, I hope, we hope that the government will come out with a communique sometime today or tomorrow for us to hear that the government is actually taking steps to kind of to address what is going on in Lagos right now. It's very uncomfortable. I mean, I'm going, I have to go from one point of Lagos to the other today. It's a very short distance, but I have to now have to call Uber, I have to call Taxify to actually go the short distance that, that would have, I would have gone with a keke, which would have made it a whole lot easier. So the effect of this is, is very worrisome. It's, it's sudden, like I said, and um, I, would just, I would just pray that people don't use this as an advantage to start um, 
um, violence again because our healthcare system, honestly, is not robost. Yeah, if people start the, getting the, injured the, the and taken to hospitals again, that's another thing. There are issues that are coming up that maybe they would they didn't foresee. Because as it stands now, a trip that would ordinarily be 15 naira or 30 naira is now 100 naira, right? There is a hike in the prices of uh, in the price of transportation, and Nigerians seem to be suffering uh, some pain. So, how would you respond? What if you were to be the government right now, seeing all of this? How would you respond to the concerns being raised by the people over an action that you have taken? Before Governor, Governor Shawolu said what he said on the platform, I'm sure he would have, he would know as well the effects of the Okada and the Keke riders. He would have heard all the sad stories. The nurses, the hospitals have them, the police have them, everybody would have heard, they would have heard all the nice stories, all the bad stories. What they, would, what they should have done was to have come up with a program, a one-year program, a six-month program that was gradually going to ease all the bad eggs out of the Okada business and stay only those that were healthy enough for the society. Healthy as in meeting up with all the measures according to the back size and bike size and everything. Because that's what all these investors of um, Gokara and the rest of them, that's what they did. They did change their bikes. Their bikes are, are within the law, are within the measures that they said their bikes should be. What government would have done was to have drawn up a program that, okay, in the next one year, in the next six months, this is what we are doing, and inform Lagosians carrying them along so that by the time they now open up with all this, the, everybody will be able to see the positive effect it has on the society rather than the negative. And unfortunately, because that did not happen, we are talking more about the, the negative pain. than the positive. And I'm sure something positive will come out of it. I beg to hear on the well, side of the The coming days will tell. Yes, Thank you very yes. much for coming on the news. <laughs> Thank you.